Hi, I'm Frank Coleman, and as Bureau Chief of the Secret Agent Project, I've been authorized to divulge and disclose to you some information regarding a forthcoming report uh, from the group. Secret Agent doesn't have songs, they have reports and dossiers. Uh, and uh, this one is entitled Portofino. Now, what is uh, unique about this video is that the entire thing was constructed and recorded inside a 360-degree virtual reality VR environment that I built myself, actually painted, half painted, half sculpted from scratch. Uh, I'm not going to show you the entire video right now uh, because it's uh, going to be released all at the same time with the single on MI5 Recordings, which is distributed by Universal. So that's coming, and I wanted to show you a little bit uh, behind the scenes and inside the environment, uh, as much as I'm um, allowed to disclose, uh, and uh, show you a little bit, a little taste of the footage. What do you want from me, Colonel? The girl. Right away. For those of you who have never actually experienced virtual reality yourselves, I strongly recommend you do so at your earliest convenience because it's amazing. Um, but it makes it a little difficult to try to explain what's really going on here. It's not like a picture or a video. It's a full on 360 degree immersion in this, what feels like being in another world. Um, so there's sort of three layers to this thing. There's the music itself and the story therein. And then there's this world that I sculpted, painted and created for these things to happen within. And then there's the video that I made flying through that world. It's all handheld footage inside a virtual environment. And that video is the end product. I took that, it's just conventional video. It just happens to be that the location is inside virtual reality. So I use two different software programs to create this thing. One is called Medium. And uh, the other one is called Tilt Brush. This is my trigger. I can make things happen. One here, one here, one here, one here. Like this. All right. Now here's the thing. I can grab with my two hands. I can grab a hold of this whole scene here and just kind of rotate this around. But you can also do continuous, which is kind of like having an aerosol can that's uh, squeezing out modeling clay in space, like so. What the hell is this? Yeah. Right, and I can make it bigger. So that's kind of cool, but not only can you add things in space, but you can also take away too. If I double click on this, it turns red, and now I can actually drill holes in this thing. This. And zoom out. And just pockmark the whole thing like this. Select paint, and uh, now I have a paint palette over here. Let's just start spray painting this thing. Okay, well, you know, this is just a doodle. Let's start with a fresh, uh, clean slate. I'm going to use these things called stamps. Now, this, this is the thing that I just absolutely love about Medium, is I can just go like this, and it's like, man, I'm looking at Abe Lincoln's head on Mount Rushmore. Holy crap. This guy needs nostrils. There we go. This is probably my favorite part, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, check this out. Okay, now we're inside the head. So when you go to paint, well, there's actually more that you can do with this. You can really do some interesting stuff just playing with subtle changes of the physiognomy. You can really mess with things. 
These are all some of the characters here and some of the prototypes for Portofino. Anyway, okay, so that's medium. So then you can export these objects and then bring them into Tilt Brush, and that's the next chapter. Okay, here's Tilt Brush. Now the real fun begins. Tilt Brush lets you paint stuff in the air and it just stays there and uh, you, know, you can grab a hold of the whole world just like we did with, with Medium and all like that. It's just that this is sort of more paint oriented, but also uh, it has this audio reactor thing. It's waiting for me to start some audio playing on the computer and then some of these types of brushes are going to bounce around in time with the music. Well, this is all fine and good, but let me load some of the actual sketches that I made for Portofino. I'd like to take a snapshot of this. In fact, I think I'll actually take some video of this. Now, this is how the video is made. Grab this video camera, recording this footage. So this is how it was done, just like fly-through shots like this, and this is where I just I had to be kind of the human steady cam and, uh, and just get right in there. So this is the product of basically four weeks of starting from absolute dead zero with a brand new platform. Um, yeah, it, it's um, it's weird. I mean, it's sort of like it's been like my first month or two in VR, and yet at the same time, it's sort of like my 24th year in VR because I was doing prototypes of this kind of stuff in 1994. So part of the attraction for me here is trying to be expressive with an unfamiliar set of tools that are made out of early stage software in an alternative environment where all my sense organs are attached uh, and it obeys a completely different set of laws of physics than the real world. You know, I guess I'm a sucker for this sort of thing. Um, I've just taken to it like a fish to water. What can I say? It's just, uh, it feels like the creative environment I've been waiting for kind of all my life. But for now, it's my gotta start somewhere VR video and uh, more to follow, perhaps. I can neither confirm nor deny. Just the kind of film I like. Short and significant.